using the staff view. So we just finished up talking about the PRV, the piano roll view. I'm going to take the same example which I just recorded in and we're going to put it into the staff view. Actually we don't need to put it in, it's already there, we just need to open up the staff view. So this is the part, let's now play it one more time in context of that. Beautiful. We could print this out and it would become a new famous piece of music. Not really, but we do have the ability to do a lot of stuff in here. What I want to do is first introduce the view, some of these tools, then we'll talk about some of the notation itself, and then we'll talk about printing it and extracting the different parts, etc., and actually going down that road. Because that's where the fun really begins, right? It's actually taking this now and printing it out and using it for whatever sessions you'll be doing, etc. So, the tools. We have some basic tools. The select tool allows us to select notes. And these now become just like the MIDI notes in the piano roll view. So I can actually right click on one of them and adjust the note properties like we looked at there. I can also come in here and do things like transpose just like we were talking about before. So that's the option here. Really powerful way. Exactly the same data as in the piano roll view, just looking at it graphically in terms of notation and the printed page. So we have the draw tool. And the draw tool is going to use whatever we have selected here. So if we have a half note, it's going to go out there. If we have the 16th note, it's going to show up there unless we drop it in the wrong place then it'll show up as an eighth note because what happens with the staff is that it's always kind of visually trying to make sense of what you draw out or play out so it's not ever exactly the same because it needs to look a little bit different than you actually played it because if you're a little bit off the beat or a little bit in the groove that doing it very literal is not going to really work very well for this however you'll see in a second that we can see that we have the erase tool the scrub tool, so very similar tools to the rest of the views. We have some zoom here, so we can see everything, etc. Handy zoom. We also have a grid, so snap to grid for drawing the notes. So when we're drawing things out or moving things around, that's going to be useful to have on. Now we have fill durations, which means it's going to, in this case, see we have a quarter note with an eighth note tied together, and it's leaving that off. This is one of those scenes where it's going to guess what it really should have looked like and it's going to fill out that whole half note. So the same for the other one, trim durations. And in this case, it's going to cut them down when you may have played a little too long. Now here's the display resolution. We can actually set this to different amounts of resolution. Eighth note means it's not going to show any sixteenth notes whatsoever. Quarter note. It's going to show all quarter notes in that translation of it and then back down to 16th note, which is pretty much the standard. It's a good place to start. Then we have layout tools. Now the staff view layout is going to let us go through each of our different instruments. Right now we just have the piano and it's going to say what kind of cleft do you want, treble or bass? So this is a piano part, so it has typically a treble and a bass. But it may just be treble or bass if it's a bass instrument. It could be an alto tenor for voices, for instance. You could do percussion here as well. And percussion is going to show you different things like this, where it's the actual line that a percussionist would use instead of the actual notation of a treble and bass part. Now we can also say show pedal events, and that's that little P with the asterisk showing when I push the foot pedal. You can also show chord grids if we're using those, and beam rest. So if there's a rest where there's typically beams, they'll show rest there. We can also change the font and also change the track names etc so in this case the track the actual track names are going to show up as the track names that you have in your tracks etc and we'll get to tab later but we can do a lot of tablature stuff here at the same time okay so we can change which tracks we're working on here we only have one for the moment and we can also show hide the track panel over on the, the side and we can also play previous, play next. We can also do fret view. Fret view is very cool. Check this out. Let me push play. 
You can see down here the notes. And it's going to intelligently pick the right place on the frets for you to play the notes that are being played up here. Very cool. So we can turn that off. And of course, we don't have any tab right now, but we could export it to basically text if we wanted to. Then we have all the notes. We also have the note durations. And then we have some expression things. We can add lyrics, chords, expression, hairpin for dynamics, and then pedals. Okay, so that's a brief look at each of these things. We're going to talk a little more about them advanced when we start talking about drawing things onto here. And then we'll get to the printing at the very last one. Okay, let's move on.